Good morning, y'all. It is sometime after seven o'clock in the morning and we're about three miles or so into our hike. Uh, great night last night. Um, very warm yesterday and it stayed nice during the night. Like it was a little bit cool, just enough that uh, we could pull the sleeping bags up over us a little bit, but uh, it was a good night. The loons were calling. <sighs> Zero complaints. We have just a hair under 14 miles planned for today, but we've got some of our first big ups, um, over 4,000 feet of elevation up uh, Avery, which is one of the first big mountains of the Bigelows that we'll hit. We'll hit Little Bigelow coming up soon, and I think I think it's right around 3K. And then um, big, uh, not big, but um, Avery, which is the first of the four Ks that we'll hit, and then we'll camp. Um, there's a little dip between it and the next mountain. Weather's supposed to be really warm today, and tomorrow it's supposed to be raining. So we should be able to get some great views today, and can't wait to get there. Let's do it. Let's get to trekking. We are almost to the summit of Little Bigelow. That's looking off the side that we ascended from. And the actual summit's right in front of us. And then you're looking at the rest of the Bigelow peaks through there. That first one um, should be Avery, I believe. And that's the one that we'll be uh, summiting today as well. It's a hazy, humid day, but views are still great. We've already summited Little Bigelow. There wasn't a sign, but the views weren't as good as what we showed you before, and this view here is even better. great view of the lake. We are currently climbing Avery. This is the trail ahead of us. Just so freaking cool, man.
is so incredible. We're almost there. Oh, that's little Bigelow right in front of us. That's where we were earlier today. I just. All right, going right up there. Let's go to it. Avery Bigelow Peak, standing right on the summit. So this is our water source for the night. It is an ice cold little seep spring that they have. Now this is covered um, when I came up. Just has a little box covering like this. But uh, yeah, perfectly placed. A um, little hard to find. But after I found the map up, up top, then I was able to find the uh, water. So score one for water on top of a mountain. Good evening, y'all. We have made it to camp, had dinner. Um, you can see I got my net on. The black flies here are pretty atrocious. It's about 6.30, and um, we did it 15 miles today. And, you know, about midday is when we hit uh, Little Bigelow yep. Mountain. And that was a nice climb. It was It was good. It was just a... I wouldn't say a hard challenge or anything, just a steady climb mm -hmm. up. It was it was a good climb, um, but it hot. It was very hot today, like 80 degrees and humid. So that, that kind of added to our challenge level a little bit there. And then you drop down. It's a nice, like, level walk. And then, hello, Avery Peak. Oh. <laughs> At the end of your day. Very yeah. challenging. Yeah. But very worth it when you get to the top. Oh, the gosh, views yes. are incredible. Our our bodies were just crying to uh, to make it to the top. I think we were just our our muscles were just so tired, and I literally as soon as we like were just to the top, could see like the sign and the 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 old fire tower. I guess I'm guessing that's what, is that, what that is up there. I mean, literally just started crying. I'm just so incredibly impressed that this is what, day 16? Day 15. Day, day 15, 15, I think. And did a 15 miler with that much elevation in one day, and our bodies did it. And I just completely overwhelmed, so proud of what. I was able to accomplish yeah. or as, as as tired as you know our bodies felt that they just they have that potential and that's kind of why we're out here is to push ourselves and to see um what we can do what our bodies are capable of and yeah i was 
was just absolutely blown away today. Um, so right now where we're setting is right in this little like dip in between um, Avery, which is right behind us. And then what is it? It's West Peak, I think is what it's called. Um, that's yeah. the next mountain that we'll be hitting tomorrow, which is also another 4 k Or Luckily, we don't have a whole 4,000 to get there. Yeah. I think we're maybe 1,500 below um, the summit on that one. Uh, it's supposed to start raining early morning. So I don't know that we'll have the best views or anything tomorrow. We're going to make it sort of a shorter day tomorrow and uh, plan for a resupply on Tuesday. So give ourselves a little bit of time to recover and to be able to take it easy coming back down off the mountains in this uh, inclement weather. Yeah. <laughs> Up here, it's nice and cool, like so much cooler than it was down, down below. So we're actually in our base layers and feel wonderful. But we did 15 miles and what's the mishap counts? Zero. So we're six days and counting mishap free. <laughs> So the test is going to actually be tomorrow yeah. when we're descending in the yeah. rain. And so everything's wet and slippery yeah. and that's, muddy and that's that's when I tend to do my my little feet just slide out from underneath of me. Fingers crossed. Yep. That it don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us that thumbs up. Turn on those notifications, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.